Hey, what is going on everyone? I have a little tutorial for an automatic on-off system for a nether portal. But uh, first, I just want to explain that I now I am probably going to start posting more of these simpler but smart slash cool stuff. Because the only thing I kind of post nowadays are just bigger and more time-consuming builds. And uh, they don't really teach anything. So I am going to make more tutorials on these kind of things that I can... Just, for example, be helpful in single play worlds or wherever else you want to use it in. So, here's the first one. I have a little nether portal thingy, automatic on off system. Turn it on by pressing the left one or the right one. You can just do these ones. And uh, the other one puts a lot of here to turn it off. So, let's jump into the tutorial, shall we? So first of all you want to dig down three blocks, you don't have to dig down if you don't want to. Then you want to start build a frame of the portal, like so. Then the two dispensers, two buttons, and this is optional but I like to have a wall of made of obsidian behind here because it looks nice with the rest of the obsidian. Now let's go behind, these two blocks of your own choice. Then on, um, now it, now it comes to what side you want the on off switch on. I had the on here and the off here last time, so let's have the other way around. Have the on here and the off here. So you just want to place the redstone dust there, redstone dust going down here. Then you want to dig out like so. Start place three repeaters in the last setting. Want to cook it up with redstone. Then. You want to bring out lava and flint and steel, which I should have done before this. And this one was the off, so I want to have a lava bucket in it. And this one was the on, so I want to have a flint and steel in it. Like so. Now you're done. Now we can just pimp it up, make it look nice, make it suit your home, and whatever else you want to do. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.